Hello, this video can be watched without any sound. If you don't want to hear my voice, go ahead and mute it. Um, but I'm just going to give a little bit of a commentary as watching the job go. Here you can see I'm removing that the screws from the plastic cowling. Um, they're all 10 millimeter. Uh, there's a few plastic um, attachments there holding that on. Um, I'm already missing quite a few screws from there. Here I'm removing the um, the plastic cowling on the wheel well area. Those are just turn them and pull them loose. You're able to free up that cowling. Um, here there's just some buttons you got to pop off the top. And there's five of them here on the top that you do need to get. The perhaps the toughest part of this job is taking off the front bumper is most time consuming. I've heard that you can do it without taking off the front bumper. It seems like you're going to be just be more uncomfortable and it's really not that hard. You know, even though I just said it's the hardest part of this job, it's really not too bad. Um, here's the, the trick though that does make it easy. Don't use any tools. All you need is just your hands to actually take that part off. Um, fixing cars and stuff showed me that one so I'll give them credit. Here we go and the bumper is actually going to fall so make sure your child isn't standing right in front of the car when you do this because the bumper will actually fall and scare him. <laughs> 10 millimeter, once again, almost all of these are 10 millimeter bolts. Um, a lot of this stuff is kind of, you could probably figure this out on your own, but that's sort of the purpose of this video is just to kind of show you what you're getting into. There's a lot of stuff you just gotta pull it away um, this is the actual top of the bracket there. There's my son helping me with some of the bolts. I didn't even realize he was doing that. And yep, there's some on the front. I you will also see in this video I'm removing like the horn. I'm removing the cable for the um, hood release right here. This may not be totally necessary, but you know what? It was able to get allow me to move that bracket totally out of the way. So that made it worth it. There we see that the horn is the only thing that actually is a 12 millimeter. Otherwise, I believe everything else is 10 for this job. And once again, like I said, the horn, it wouldn't be necessary, but it does let you get it just out of the way. And I kind of like that when doing a job like this it it makes it easier Just a note here about my own particular job. I had put a radiator in here last year, so I've actually taken this all apart. This is not the first time I've done this job. Um, I noticed when I did this job before that these brackets holding the radiator and the condenser in have screws that are very rusted and they got stripped when I did the job before. And I was actually able to do it without needing to take the brackets off, the screws out. But for the condenser, uh, I had to take it out. So I had to come up with a creative way to get those screws out. And here it is. Um, when in doubt, grind it, I guess. But hopefully you won't have this problem and you will be able to just, uh, you know, unscrew that yourself. I, my screws were totally gone. I was not able to get them out. So I was left with basically just this option of grinding them out.
There are bottom bracket screws as well. These I did not mess around with the first time when I did my radiator job. But I quickly found out that, so they weren't stripped, but they were totally rusted. They were not going to come out either. In fact, I stripped them while trying to get them out. Um, it's this the bottom brackets took a lot of more work they're in there pretty darn good it's not just um, grinding off the head and, and pulling it up like I hoped it would there's a bracket that's actually attached to on the bottom so here I am kind of trying to finesse it a little bit but you know I soon realized hey I'm not gonna keep this radiator <laughs> or I'm sorry I'm not gonna keep this condenser and so I just went wholesale um, destroying it with the grinder uh, whatever I could to get it out and I eventually just you know got it pretty well ground down and then I went in with a screwdriver and was able to break all the supports and uh, was able to get that up so um, that footage is not included but here you can see I did get it up and out of that bracket here is a picture of the bracket hopefully you don't have this problem but if you do uh, this video should help you out with that uh, the right side, I did the same thing with that. This time I didn't mess around. I just went to town and just totally chew it apart. Unfortunately, I did lose some of that footage. Um, you can watch here as I loosen it up. You actually don't... Sh sh the footage where I actually remove the radiator is gone, although it's <laughs> there's nothing to it. You just Once those screws are gone, you just pick it up and it's you're free and clear. Um, to get it out of there. Thumbs up. It's out. This might be a good time to clean out your radiator. Mine actually is only a year old, so it really wasn't bad. Um, but, there you go. I got my condenser off Amazon it's a Denso it was a little warped but actually should be fine um, you know it did fit in there I did come in some problems with getting the, the brackets to um, tighten down all the way later on but that was more of my radiator's fault the radiator is just too big uh, so I, I would have to recommend the Denso there. You got thumbs up. It's it's in. For the rest of the video now, I am just putting everything back and I go in super fast mode. Um, be careful when you're putting the bracket back to make sure you get everything to line up properly. Um, I had a little bit of a problem because my radiator was too big and trying to get it all to fit in there um, snug I did not use obviously I ground out the the brackets down on the bottom but this thing is in there so tight <clears throat> those brackets are not necessary I don't feel at all concerned that my condenser is gonna go anywhere it is in there really well so this basically finishes up my video um, if you got any questions or comments please uh, make sure you leave those comments down below uh, if I didn't do it right go ahead and and uh, give me some pointers on that and uh, I don't know thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it